welcome to Grace and Lottie's Elizabeth here. It's Tuesday, so it's App Review Day, and we're going to be looking at Evercolor Coloring Book for Adults, 4.7 stars in the App Store. A couple of pictures here that you can see from the uh, examples that they give in the App Store. Uh, you can read all of the description right here of what they've got right here. I'm going to point out the price point, though, because the price point here is pretty steep. Uh, it's a one-week subscription for $4.99. Yikes, five bucks a week. A one month subscription for $12.99 or a 12 month subscription for $69.99. Now the 12 month one looks pretty normal. That's um, a little bit closer to $6. They're just under uh, per month. So you can see that that's almost paying for a week subscription for a month. So if you're wanting the subscription on this, make sure you look at it and decide how long you wanna keep it because at $5 a week, you do that for 12 weeks, that's three months. Uh, you've roughly paid for the 12 months. So actually it would be two more weeks after that. But you see what I'm saying? That it's, you end up paying a whole lot more going with that weekly. And that weekly is a very expensive uh, rate for this one. Um, I have tried to open this a few times before. It's wanting to make my um, recording features. Good, I made it in. It's been keeps showing me this um, fidget spinner. And I think that was messing it up. It has some ads based in on this. So looking here, it's that fidget spinner right there kept going. And I didn't quite get what was going on with that and it wouldn't close. So it was a little bit difficult. So let's see here. We got that. Oh, there are special days there. And then these are kind of a shared or my artworks that I've done there. Okay, so those are those features. Let's just go in here. Let's go look at fashion animals. That sounds like a very interesting choice. We'll go look at the cat right here. Zoom in, looks like it's your standard two finger. You can buy premium colors, more brushes. I'm sure those are probably a paid. Long press to like pick up the color so that you can say I want that shade. So let's start now. We've got reds here. So palette up and down. So here are the different textures. I have a feeling that this is just gonna be like a paint where it drop where it inks in the area and you just pick what um, with red. Yeah, and it just kind of fills in the area with that kind of a piece. So let's look right here. <laughs> Interesting outfit choice here. <laughs> I didn't mean to color in hers. Let's zoom in. Zoom in works normally. She's wearing pink and red. Yellows, greens. Um, I'm going to tap on one of these even though I'm not really cyan. I do like the way these are grouped in here. This is making this easy for finding the shade I want rather than being a combination of different ones. Look, this looks like a... We'll go with that one right there. It looks like it's kind of a, yeah, see, it's gradient there. And I think that's kind of a cool look way that works. The way it kind of fades left and right there. I wish the pigment has a way that you can select multiple areas. So it'll go across the gradient like that. So that looks pretty cool. That's fun right there. So that worked well. Let's get her fingers in here. Let's check in. Let's see how tight I can zoom and get in there and do these little fingers. Uh, don't, everything's looking great here. I do like that, that my recently used colors are right there. That's a nice feature so I can find those quickly. Pearl, that looks kind of fun for some ears. Oh, I can't get that one. <laughs> that one's a premium. Oh, it's got the little crown there. Oh, that's easy to tell. Captain America. <laughs> Sunsets, ice cream. So they are uh, grouped, so I can go all the way. Metal, I wonder why metal has a blue star. Let's try it and see. Oh, you rate the app. And if you rate it five stars, you get the palette. That's how it has so many stars. <laughs> Sometimes when these things come out, it's like, oh, this makes sense now. <laughs> so they hurt ears. Let's go to some browns here. 
we'll do her hat. Let's check out, I've done them all in that one brush. So marker, oils, are there more? Okay, that's it. Marker and oils are premium, but the rest are all freebies. I've got a watercolor, which use that to create a fun background. It's almost fall. Actually, it is fall now. It is after the 21st. I'm realizing that it's already the 25th today. So we will do these harvest colors. Let's see what yellow looks like. There's the yellow behind her. So watercolor looks pretty decent there. So I'm not noticing anything super crazy with this. I'm not, other than the in, couple of initial glitches I have. So we're going to go check out that fidget spinner and see if it gives me any trouble like it was. Nope, everything looks normal here. Wonder what fidget spinner does. So we will go in here. So I color a fidget spinner, I guess. <laughs> We will make it nice and, oh, not what I wanted. And now I click play and I can spin it. So um, <laughs> that's great. Um, it's giving me the spin and RPM, so. Um, if that's something you enjoy, that's great. Um, I don't quite get it, which is okay. Oh, free image today is, I think that's the capital right there. So um, there it is. I'm not interested in that, so I'm not going to get that. So overall, I am looking at an app that pretty much lives up to the basics of what it says. I'm not feeling like I needed to purchase anything that I was really missing out by not buying anything on this one. So the price point, not as much of an issue as I thought. That's about it on this. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I am working to do an app review every week. So uh, every Tuesday, so it is Tech Tuesday, so be watching for those as well. So please, please, please leave me a comment if there's an app you would like to see. I honestly enjoy doing the bad apps, so um, if there's a horrible one that you would like to share that um, we can show everybody just how awful it is, that would be great. They're kind of more fun than the normal apps. A lot of these are just kind of the same, and I can't. it's hard to get excited about them because they're like, Ugh. it's just like every other app. So I would love it if you do that as well as you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Grayson Lotties. Uh, you can find me there. You can check out the blog, GraysonLotties.com. So that's the basics for social media there. Remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're looking for it. Bye.